Industrial design is, if you were to sum it up in two words, you'd say problem solving. Trying to figure out how to turn waste material into something useful is a really fun challenge. We all take inspiration from the place that we live. I'm really interested in the objects that we make being indicative of the resources that we have in the city. My name is Sharon Burdett. I'm the co-owner of Strand Design and we're a product development studio here in Chicago. I am Ted Burdett and I'm an industrial designer. We focus on designing and manufacturing products that are uh, made from sustainable materials and locally manufactured. So most things are sort of a bizarre mishmash of stuff and materials that's all stuck together to make something that does what it's supposed to do in the cheapest, most effective way possible. And there's no plan for what's going to happen to it when you're done with it. Most of the time it ends up in the trash. The very first product that we did as Strand Design was actually creating a bag that was made out of garbage. It was made out of reclaimed billboards and we put it together without using any sewing and we used hardware that could be removed and straps that could be removed so that when you were done with the bag you could literally recycle the bag and then have a new skin as we were calling it sent to you and have the bag rebuilt. So this is not a new idea. I mean Ted and I were both very influenced by cradle to cradle and that whole philosophy of where things come from, how they're made and what happens to them when their useful life is over. We definitely try to partner with factories that have good working practices. When we approach manufacturers and tell them about the values that our company is based on, it's, it's a bit different for them. Here's a company that's approaching us that really actually does care about how we're treating our employees, that does care that we're actually operating in the same neighborhood, and that does care about the, the backstory of, of, the, of the materials. I think that there are a lot of manufacturers in Chicago who are really interested in the work that we do because it's got a heavy emphasis on design and aesthetics. Our process is we'll just get a lark. What's something that has some potential? What's something where we see a lack or an opportunity? And then we take it to the paper and start sketching out forms and ways things can come together. We'll start to figure out what kinds of components need to be outsourced and who's the appropriate manufacturer to produce that part. We'll do a drawing, different views of the product with dimensions and specifications and notes. Internally in the, in the factory, the salespeople or project managers will pass something off to a foreman. The foreman will get the job to the right person operating the right machine. A part will go through these specific operations at specific stations, then get checked quality control, then get packed up, and then we'll go pick it up from the, from the factory. And then we do stuff here too. We make a lot of our wooden parts here and we do, I'd say most of our assembly of, of parts into, into products right here in our studio. It's very much hands-on. Yeah, so with our bags, uh, those are all hand-stitched. With our furniture pieces, those are all hand-assembled. We, we really do try to design, source, contract with manufacturers, do assembly and fulfillment here. It is about doing things in a way that addresses taking resources from the community you live in and contributing to the community. We believe that the product development process never really ends. There are just points at which you kind of pause and, and, and release something. But there's always something to change. There's always something to improve or there's always just a variation that for curiosity, for curiosity's sake, you want to you try out.